For I spoke a word, you were singing over me. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. People of God, I greet you all in Jesus' name. Uh, today is another day our Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. As usual, my name is Dr. William, and this is an educational platform. We study the Word of God. We learn how to search the Scriptures by ourselves. We learn our Christian life, our personal life, our marriages, and a lot. Uh, I started this new episode about Bible doctrine. We finish with doctrine, introduction to the Bible doctrine, doctrine one, doctrine two. Today we are going to study the uh, doctrine three, which is the virgin birth of what Jesus Christ. Before I move, I'd like to brief it a little. You see, Jesus Christ was given birth by what a virgin, which is what Mary. Mary was what a virgin. The Holy Spirit was revealed to her that you would give birth to a son. And his name will be what he man is the only man whose name was given before he was what given birth, and also he is the only one who was professor in the olden days. We are going to find that in the olden that's the old testament before what New Testament Jesus Christ was born. In the old testament it was prophesied that what, a son will be born, a virgin will be given birth to what a son, and his name will be called what Emmanuel. So without wasting my time, let's look at today's what uh, episode. Today's topic is the virgin birth of Jesus Christ. The virgin birth of Jesus Christ, and we got to know that the God's word teaches us that the virgin birth of Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son, as well as His what crucifixion, death, burial, and body resurrection. So we can find that one in Isaiah. Let's see. As I told you, that his birth was being uh, prophesied in the, in the olden days. Isaiah chapter seven, verse fourteen. Isaiah seven fourteen. Isaiah seven fourteen. And I read. He said, "Therefore, the Lord Himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive." And bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. That's Nazaria. Therefore, the Lord Himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall be called his name what Emmanuel. So before Jesus, before what the Old Testament what. Uh, first away, we came to the New Testament. Jesus Christ was born. His birth was being prophesied, uh, prophesied in the old days. That's in the Old Testament that a virgin would be what conceived. So, we are, let's move ahead and let's find how Jesus Christ what birth process what came about. Let's open to me to Matthew, Matthew chapter one, Matthew one. Verse 18 to 25. Matthew 1 18 to 25. Matthew 1 18 to 25. And I read, he said, Now the birth of now the birth of Christ on the wise, which sorry, when as his mother his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph. Now, espouse here in our town, we normally call it uh, courtship. That's what espouse is in the what in the olden days. So Mary was what espoused to Joseph. It was in question with Joseph that were about what get what married. So at that time, because they are not married, Joseph having what done anything what with her. So she was still what a virgin, espoused to Joseph. Therefore, they came together. She was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Verse 19. Then Joseph, her husband, begins to jest man. Sorry, be, being, sorry, and Joseph, being a jest man, and not willing to make her a public example. A public example here tells us what, uh, because they are in courtship, and he's now ready to what? 
to announce or, or what, get married to her for everybody for the public to know that now this is my wife so joseph being a just man not willing to make her a, a public example because she was pregnant so he was not willing to make her a public what example was minded to put her away what uh privily verse 20 but whilst he taught on these things behold the angel of the lord appeared unto him in the dream sorry in a dream saying joseph thou son of david fear not to take unto thee mary thy wife for that which is conceived in her is of the holy ghost verse 21 and shall and she shall bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name jesus for he shall save his people from their sin so the purpose of jesus being uh, brought on this air it was to save us from what our sins verse 22 now all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the lord by the prophet was saying by the prophet saying the word in the olden days look at uh, in uh, what we read from what Isaiah chapter uh, 7 verse 14 is being found here let's look at verse 23 behold a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son and shall call and shall call his name Emmanuel which being interpreted as God with us so the name of what Jesus Christ that's Emmanuel means what God with us. Verse 24. Then Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had abided him, and took unto him his wife. See, the Lord of us, God has so many ways of what, talking to us, has so many ways of what, preaching to us, speaking to us. But some of us, the moment the Holy Spirit talks to us, God speaks to us. Sometimes it can be in a form of dream. It can be sometimes you be hear, you be there be hearing us a, a voice. But some of us, because we are not in the word in God, we are doing our own thing. You are, uh, you are sinning. We are being fornicated. We are in our sins. So when God talks to us, we can't we can hear because we are living by. In, deep in our spirit we are dead so the bible called those people they are living or but they are dead in spirits in my language you say we are tiasi wufu what tiasi but why then wawu because either nya and nyam kopo ni sun sumi either in new mubium a fru mu nti ni perduyana ena enam iwiasa keke but sun sum na either ebem ebem ma and what nyam kopo eno kwa mane eno wakasano sasu sun yende a wu a fru mu se wu wiasi a sun sun na ebem ma nyam kopo kwa mane de abet sna wu mu eno wakasano sasu sun yende a wu let's continue to verse 25 and knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son, and his, and he called his name Jesus. So this hour, how Jesus what was giving birth, before Jesus was giving birth, God Himself what what the prophecy came through what God by the word by the prophet in what, in the Old Testament that what it shall a virgin shall conceive what a son and his name will be called what Emmanuel and Emmanuel means what God with what with us but listen before uh, 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 Mary before Mary got pregnant what to Jesus by the Holy Ghost Mary was a virgin and at that time he was what, espoused to what to Joseph as I explained espoused to it that espoused now time here it is called what a courtship it is not in our time that we call it dating boyfriend girlfriend no that, that one is not what dating boyfriend girlfriend is not in the Bible so therefore they sin before what before God the right thing is what is courtship is what courtship as what Mary and Joseph was in before what, uh, Mary got pregnant to, uh, to Jesus so because uh, this is my this is somebody that I'm about to get married to I'm a spouse to that I have not public hair and now and I haven't what have any sexual intercourse with her and now she is pregnant so how come so because of that joseph thought of what leaving her but god revealed to him the holy ghost revealed to him in a dream that 
No, behold, the son that what she is called carrying is what is from what from the Holy Ghost. So therefore, do not, do not. Let's continue to Romans, Romans one verse four, Romans one. Romans 1 verse 4. Romans 1 verse 4. And I read said, And declare to the Son of God with power according to the Spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead. Finally, before I'll, I'll move on to today's uh, topic, explain further for us to get the understanding, let's look at um, 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 3 and 4. It said, For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures. Verse 4, And that he was buried, that he rose again from the according to the scriptures oh the reason why jesus christ was what was given birth by the holy ghost and the what the virgin mary was that because he was is a man of what no sin a man of what no sin the mortal man is full of sin that is why jesus christ was given birth what as from what a uh, true what a virgin from the word from the holy word ghost it is god himself who put what the seed in the word in the virgin's Mary word womb, so uh, Jesus was not giving birth to what a man and what and a woman, a mortal man. No, it was giving birth to what a virgin Mary by the word by the Holy Ghost. So Jesus, during his what earthly ministry, sometimes referred to people as his mother and his brothers and sisters but never referred to any mortal man as his father not even joseph his father so you can see because his father is what is god and it is god who will put the seed in his word in his mother's word wound so he referred to Ma only mary that word mother but referred to his brothers and sisters and even his father as what well, as what my is as what brothers and what sisters never referred to Joseph as what as my father because he was not giving birth to what a mortal man a mortal man is full of what sin he was giving birth to what the Holy Spirit that is God so it's only God I whenever he's going to say my God and sorry my father you understand so let's open to me to Matthew Matthew you can see that in Matthew 12 Matthew 12 verse 49 and 50 matthew 12 49 and 50 he said and he stretched forth his head towards his disciples and said behold my mother and my brethren so he referred to only mary my mother and referred to others as well including his father uh, joseph as what well, as brethren verse 50 for whosoever shall do the will of my father that is so the father is what is what god so ever shall do the will of my father which is in heaven who is in heaven god the same is my brother and my sister and mother so whosoever that will do the will of what his father which is what which is god refer to what as his what his brother and sister and what and mother never referred to joseph as what as his father his father is what is god jesus was not giving birth to what a mortal man was giving birth to a virgin what mary and it's god his father who put the seed inside what the virgin's what uh, virgin mary what womb and what she conceived him so if you want to be part of what jesus jesus said if or before you can i can call you or you can be my brother and my sister or breading when you talk of breading you are talking about christians so before you can do that unless you do the will of god so not any other body some 
Christians are uh, what you can, can be like title to someone. I'm a pastor. I'm an evangelist. I'm a Christian. It is only the name that is on you. But if you do the will of God, and which are, which are the will of God? Fear God. Repent from your sin. Forsake sin. Avoid sin. Do the will of God. Reject ungodly things. Corruption. Boyfriend, girlfriend, relationship. Committing fornication. Adultery. Uh, uh, divorcing, murdering, a lot of sin. If you if you stop all these things and do exactly what is stated in the Bible, the will of God, you abide by it both in your secret places and your in what in the public what places. At that time, at that you shall become what a brother and what a sister to what to Jesus what Christ. So uh, let's move on. He said the Bible says that joseph was just what a man jesus joseph was just what a man if joseph had known mary before christ was conceived or was uh, responsible for the conception he would not have been thinking of putting her away if joseph knew or if joseph is the one who impregnated what mary or have already what have affair with what with mary you will never think of what are uh, putting Mary what away because when you found out that Mary was or was pregnant, he was thinking of what putting her away because they, she, he was what a spouse with her. A spouse means what he was in courtship with her, preparing to get married to her, and find out that what she is what pregnant. So he was thinking of what putting her away. That was when he had a dream that the Holy Spirit would reveal to him that behold, this is what this is a son from what from God. So do not what with her away said no would op- uh, no would open he have what qualified to be referred to as a just what man on the other hand if mary as an espoused virgin had conceived through a strange man it would have been right for joseph to put for joseph to have her out of the way if mary if mary as what being espoused by someone who is what in espoused to Joseph in question with Joseph and have seen another man and she's pregnant for that one Joseph will, will just will put her away with the um, woman I'm about to get married to you and now you are what you are pregnant with another man you just put her because I'm not married what to you when I say but because it is the Holy Ghost it is God who puts what uh, the the seed in Mary's what who so God Himself what revealed to Joseph and explained that I am the one who put the seed what in your what in your spouse what uh partner what womb so do not what put her away so the he said and the angel answered and said unto her the Holy Ghost shall come unto thee. And the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore, also that holy thing which shall be born of of thee shall be called the Son of God. That was the announcement of the coming of the Holy Truth Virgin's word child. So Jesus Christ was what was giving birth to what a virgin word Mary. And his birth was so what is the only person who came to this earth through a miraculous way, a way that no man cannot understand. Because it is an obvious there is no woman who can get pregnant without having an affair with a man. It doesn't happen anywhere. But it was only what Jesus Christ that tells you what uh, how special the man is. That tells you how special Jesus Christ is. You understand, so let's learn the Bible by ourselves. Um, study the word of God by ourselves, interpret the word of God by what by ourselves. Study, pray for God that God what should give you wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the word. Let's study the word of God by ourselves and do what and do the will of God. And in so doing, God what. God will be with us. He will guide you, protect you. Jesus, the Son of God, was giving birth through what a virgin Mary. And the Lord and his purpose 
of coming to this earth is to save his people what from sin. Before he was giving birth, he was prophesying in the olden days that a virgin shall what conceive a child and his name will be Emmanuel. Emmanuel means God with us. So the reason why Jesus came is what the God Himself was was with us at that time, that He's coming to die and pay for our sin. Read the Bible by yourself. Search through the Scriptures by yourself, and you will know more and more. Thank you so much. The next thing I am going to look at our next episode is what Bible doctrine four, and that one is what total depressive, total depressive sinfulness and guilty of all men. That will be what our next what episode. Stay tuned. Continue listening. Dr. William as be gradual, follow the steps, and by the time we finish with episode 22, you what you understand the full doctrine of the of the Bible. God bless you. Don't forget to subscribe, share for others to also be educated about what you are hearing. God bless you. Shalom. Be peace be unto you all. Bye-bye.